Uh, our greetings again. Um, <clears throat> we need to look at a transposition problem here, which is slightly more complex than the ones we've dealt with before. We're looking here at an electronics uh, equation or formula, and we're trying to find R, the letter R here, and the letter R is there. In this case, it's R squared, but we're looking for R on its own. Now, what we want to do is to try and isolate R. At the moment, we can't do anything about R because... It is related to 1 over LC, also related to L squared, and a whole lot of that um, is a square root. So we've got to come outside of the, uh, this little complex here and look at this. It's 1 over 2 pi. But if we multiply this 1 over 2 pi is also underneath here. So if we multiply both sides by 2 pi, so if we say times 2 pi, um, we should get rid of this fraction here, which is a good thing to do in most uh, cases of transposition problems. Get rid of the fraction. So, okay, what are we looking at? We're looking at 2 pi f. That's 2 pi times f. We've multiplied it by that. Now, this is now gone because 1 over 2 pi times 2 pi is 1 and, it's, and, and, and nothing is left. So, we've now got the square root of 1 over LC minus R squared over L squared. Now, let me see. We want to get rid of this radical, this square root sign. And the best way to do that, well, the only way to do that, to be honest, is to square both sides. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side. Otherwise, the equality is lost. So we, now we're going to square both sides. So I put there, square both sides. Okay, now, so, okay, so we've got 2 pi f, and we'll put that in brackets, squared equals, well, this squared gets rid of the radical, 1 uh, over lc minus r squared l squared. So far, so good. But we're still trying to find r, but this is a positive r. So therefore, we really want to get rid of this negative sign. And this is a good place to do it. I suppose, really, if you wanted to get access to R or um, declutter it, you would um, uh, minus 1 over LC from both sides, or subtract 1 over LC from both sides. But that still leaves a minus here. So there's a better way to do that. And the better way to do that is to actually add R squared over L squared to both sides. So let's have a look at that. So we've got 2 pi f squared plus r squared over l squared equals 1 over lc. Right, well, we're still trying to find, focus into r squared, aren't we? So I think probably what the best thing to do would be to subtract 2 pi f squared from both sides. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So we say... Uh, minus 2 pi f squared. That will leave us with r squared over l squared equals 1 over lc minus 2 pi f squared. That's okay, that's fine. Right, what's the next? Well, okay, but this... This r squared is actually divided by l squared, so if we multiply both sides by l squared, so we put times l squared, that eliminates the r squared over l squared times l squared becomes r squared, equals, now, l squared times 1 is l squared, and that is over lc, minus, now because it's a minus sign, not a multiplication, multiplication or division, we've also got to multiply this by l squared. So that becomes 2 pi f l squared. doesn't matter where you put it. You could have put 2 pi f squared uh, l squared outside if you wanted to. Now, what do we want to do next? Well, a little complication here. We've now got l, LC, uh, l squared over lc. Now, l into l squared goes l times. And that cancels this l and leaves an L at the top. So we've got R squared equals L over C. 
minus, uh, now that's all right, so we're okay with that, so we've still got minus 2 pi f l squared. Finally, this is r squared, we want to get rid of the squared sign, we want to look at r, which is up here, so therefore we want to um, find the square root of both sides. The square root of r squared is r, which is what we're looking for, and that equals L over C minus 2 pi F L squared. And I think you'll find that that is the answer. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you would like to subscribe and to approve, or if you have any questions about this particular problem, please make a comment. Thank you. Good night.